All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we're going to be in the 147 pound division where we've got some news out there a brewing about some fights that could be taking place between three of the biggest names in boxing. And a fight, dude, quite honestly, I would take and I think would do very, very well. The person that is talking about it is none other than Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. And the fighters that he's talking about are Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Gervonta Tank Davis. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite weight divisions you guys should know, the 147 pound division, where I think we got some good news, man. And I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm sure there's a lot of people that are going to treat what I have to say with some disdain and dismiss it. But let me tell you, I'll take it. Big box. I'm a, I'm a big boxing fan. And at this point in time, man, I just want weekends full full with fights so when manny pac-man pacquiao said that he was working on a floyd mayweather jr rematch and that he is willing to fight gervonta tank davis in an official fight at the at a catch weight man i'll take it let's do it why not since there's so many other things going on in boxing that people have don't seem to not have much of a big a problem with and if this is the way it's gonna go hey man we might as well make the way it goes a little bit better but before i get into the details let me welcome you back to the channel if you are new to the channel please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos and if you're a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel Thank you so much for your continued support. Thank you to everybody that supports in the super thanks and videos like this, because it really is a great way to be able to continue to put this content out uh, and talk about the subjects that we want to talk about. Um, and uh, this is one that I find interesting. I'm not sure how, how many people are going to find this interesting or, or, or enticing or in tantalizing, but I'll take it. And that is Manny Pacquiao saying that he... Uh, is looking at a rematch with Floyd Mayweather Jr. and saying that he will fight Gervonta Tang Davis at a catch weight of 145 pounds. I like it. I like it a lot. And I'll tell you why. I like it because, first of all, Manny Pacquiao is one of the best fighters we've had this century. Many people say that it is that he's one of the best fighters that has ever that has ever lived. I mean, you know, every boxer is one of the greatest, but I wouldn't put him up there with, you know, the top five or 10 greatest fighters ever. However, of this century of this century. Without a doubt, man, there's not, not much you can say about him. For me as a boxing fan, he's provided a lot of very interesting nights uh, uh, watching boxing, a lot of really good events. And I always enjoy him. I always enjoy Manny Pacquiao fights because Manny Pacquiao brings it. And also, I believe that Manny Pacquiao is one of these guys that really would fight anybody. And unlike a lot of fighters, Manny Pacquiao don't care about losing. He'll get in the ring and he'll do it. Well, at a very late stage in his career, he was going to fight Errol Spence Jr. Errol Spence Jr. had a uh, torn retina but and was unable to do it. But he stepped up there and he fought uh, your Danny Zugas, which is the last time we saw him. But to have him do an exhibition, since we're watching all these exhibitions and these all of these fights going on between celebrity boxers like Jake Paul and whoever he's fighting that any particular day, KSI, um, Tommy Fury, and all these other people that are fighting. You even getting NBA, getting former uh, football players, and uh, like I think Adrian Peterson actually jumped in the ring and and was fighting. They're selling us all of this celebrity stuff. Hey, man, if these guys, if these professional fighters want to come out and have exhibitions, I'll take it. You know, Floyd Mayweather Jr. never stopped doing exhibitions, keeps putting on exhibitions. And if he's going to have it, shoot, let's have an exhibition that it would really be interesting. The one one of the biggest fights in, in the history of boxing, if not the biggest fight 
in the history of boxing was Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Manny Pacquiao. I would I always wanted to see a rematch of that fight. And if I can get one in a uh, in an exhibition fight, shoot, I'll take it, man. It'll be a good Saturday night to enjoy the, and to enjoy a fight. And seeing as everything, all these fights that I want to see anywhere on pay-per-view Shoot, you can't, people can't tell you not. Well, it's not going to be an issue with me paying for a pay-per-view. At least it's something that is, you know, that I find interesting. We've got a whole bunch of pay-per-views. And I think that's the way that the these major fights are going to go moving forward. You got a Jake Paul, you got, or what is it? Uh, KSI versus Tommy Fury uh, pay-per-view. Why not a Floyd Mayweather Jr. Manny Pacquiao exhibition uh, pay-per-view, especially since Floyd is going to be doing one anyway. At least that's the word out on the street. Now, the other thing, though, is the idea that, that Manny Pacquiao said he would be willing to fight Jermonte Davis uh, at a catch weight of 145 pounds. Man, that would be... Um, that would be an interesting fight for sure. I think that it would be a very big fight. It would be a very big draw. Uh, I think it's probably one of the bigger fights that Gervonta Davis could possibly make. And it may very well be a dangerous fight for Gervonta Davis to fight Manny Pacquiao, even at this stage in Manny Pacquiao's career because of the size, because of the size of uh, size of Manny Pacquiao. Other at the same time, Manny Pacquiao may wind up taking a dive, you know, doing a Juan Manuel Marquez four uh 2.0 and taking a face dive on the <laughs> on the canvas if he gets hit, uh hits gets hit and countered by the by Gervonta Davis. But I look, man, I'll take it. If they actually, if if Manny Pacquiao says he's willing to do it and Gervonta Davis is willing to do it, like I said, I'll take it. Now, I don't think that this is, that these fights are, you know, the the, be- the biggest and the best fights that you can get. You know, there are other fights like Canelo Alvarez and da- David Benavides that is a great fight. You've got several fights with, Ter- with Terrence Crawford that can be made that I would love to see before that. Terrence, Jerron Ennis, uh, Terrence Crawford, the Errol Smith Jr. rematch. Um, I know that doesn't float a lot of people's boats, but hey, man, like I said, man, I'm I want to see more fights, man. I want to see more weekends f- filled with boxing matches with people that I recognize and people that I'm interested in seeing. And uh, and and for those fights to go up against like some of the top ranked cards where it is just prospect after prospect after prospect after prospect and then you have these celebrity things like what's going on today uh this mismatch stuff that's going on with tyson fury and francis and gono uh for actually an official heavyweight title shot it the wbc belt i do not believe is on the line but the fight has, as of recently, been sanctioned. Uh, I do believe it was sanctioned by the WB. The WBC actually wound up sanctioned, or the BBOC wound up sanctioning the fight and making it an official. Uh, BBBOC, the British Boxing Board of Control, has actually sanctioned that fight. So the WBC title may actually be on the line for Francis Ngono. But at the end of the day, man, I just. I really appreciated what's taking place this year with a lot of fights being made. And I don't think every fight that needs to be made has to be the absolute best fight or otherwise don't make it. You know, I and I'll shoot, man, I'll take it. But we'll see if it happens. I doubt it. I Honestly, I doubt if it does. But good conversation. And if it happened, I would support it. That's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.